And now that a judge has told the city of Memphis the class action lawsuit it's facing over untested rape kits will not be tossed out as it had hoped. Tonight we're covering what's next for this potentially explosive lawsuit that could leave Memphis taxpayers on the hook for millions of dollars. ABC 24's Jay Shakur is digging deeper into the judge's ruling and what's next now that the city is going to plan B uh, to try and keep the lawsuit from going to trial. Jay, what did you learn? Richard, Judge Gina Higgins' ruling means the city could face a trial in a case which includes more than 12,000 rape survivors. Lawyers involved tell me those who might be victims can still join the class action lawsuit even as the city is appealing in an attempt to overturn this latest ruling. A class action lawsuit against the city of Memphis over untested rape kits is moving forward after a judge in recent days denied the city's request to dismiss that lawsuit. The city claiming the accusations were beyond the statute of limitations. A huge step in the case, one we've been moving toward for a very long time. The legal back and forth began in 2014 when lawyers initially filed the lawsuit after the Memphis Police Department revealed there were thousands of untested sexual assault kits. Sexual assault survivor Debbie Dalhoff, a central figure in this nearly decade legal fight, says this latest development is welcomed news. It's a victory for us again at this point uh, with the judge's recent uh, denial. Attorney Gary Smith says despite this ruling, there's still a long road ahead. The lawsuit began with one anonymous plaintiff, but with the latest rulings, additional survivors can now join. Attorney Smith says that means more than 12,000 survivors could now play a role. It's, it's been very frustrating uh, for the victims, uh, but it is a process, and this process has been long. It is not over. That process is also prolonged by the city of Memphis's appeals. It's devastating. How can you say you've done nothing wrong? They, they should have never had 12,000 kits sitting on a shelf, not counting the ones that were loaded in vans and taken to the dump sites. Depending on the number of survivors added to this case, Smith says if it doesn't go to trial, there could be a financial settlement. Dalhoff says for her and other survivors, this case is about more than money. It, the money is not the point for me. Um, yes, I, I do feel as though we need to be compensated in some way, but it's not about the money, it's not about the amount. For me, it's that we prove that the city failed us. We want to affect change in the system so that this uh, egregious circumstance never arises again. Now, Attorney Gary Smith is also working the Alicia Franklin case. Franklin claims if police had properly investigated her rape case a year prior, last September's kidnapping and killing of Eliza Fletcher wouldn't have happened. Smith says he's begun the appeals process for Franklin's case. Richard.